the way I try to be, I try to be positive about things. I try to be patient. I try to be humble. I try to, what is that word? Humble. I try to, I don't like it, but sometimes I take being wronged to keep the peace. And some people may say that or more or may see me as like a doormat or like a, a person that doesn't really stand up for himself in a sense it feels like some people take my kindness for weakness It doesn't take much effort to act like a fool. It doesn't take too much effort to give in to your anger or to act all wild. That is easy. I believe it takes more restraint to be able to forgive, to be able to calm down, to be able to not react in a bad way if you are feeling to do this or that. Time after time, as it seems, you know, I don't want to be the type of person to where I have to show someone an attitude to show them I am serious. Like, why can't I smile and laugh and treat people nicely and not be seen as a target? Why do I have to not saying that I do this, but for an example, why do I have to frown? Why do I have to look angry for people to like stay away or to take me seriously? Why do I have to be that way? Predators, man. Predators. Like what's wrong with being treated nicely. Why can't you accept someone who is being polite to you? Why can't you accept someone that wants to do something for you every so often? Why in your mind, if this is true about you, why in your mind something is triggered to where you want to take advantage of a kind person. I don't understand that. Well, I did. I guess I can understand it because I was, I guess, some way like that, but it is wrong. I back down probably with most people, I back down maybe 80 to 90% maybe 70 to 80 percent of the time because i don't want unnecessary problems but with some people i am telling you but with some people as it seems the more i back down the more they do it and why do i have to and sometimes and i am wrong for it sometimes there's a person where I would, I don't like doing it and I think it is wrong. You know, sometimes I raise my voice and do this and do that to make that person leave me alone. Why do I have to do that? Why? Why do I have to raise my voice? Why can't we speak about it peacefully 
in a calm manner? Why come to me in a somewhat aggressive way? Not every time, but some of the time, you don't treat people like that. Like everyone have feelings. I may be somewhat patient, but after a while, I am going to be triggered as well. I am not perfect, which I am striving for perfection. So if you are the type of person that like to be a predator, you know, this person is nice and smiling, so I can take something from this person. I can treat this person anyhow, and that person is not going to blah, blah, blah. You are wrong, man. Stop that. Myself, I go to work, and I usually stay to myself. Sometimes I write on paper things about God, make YouTube videos, talk to my wife and stuff like that, but pretty much, mainly, stay to myself. Sometimes, yeah, I may speak to some people, but mainly stay to myself. I don't, as far as I know, I don't look for problems. Stop being a predator. Stop being aggressive with people who are being very light with you. Learn to socialize in the proper way. You don't have to begin yelling at a person and act aggressive toward a person because you are angry. Learn to be angry, but be calm. You don't have to react badly every time when you are angry or irritated or whatever else like that. Like, I hope this makes sense. Learn to deal with yourself. Learn to not take out your anger. And I believe that happens so much. I think some people are either depressed, mentally disturbed. So they may take out their frustration on whomever come near them. Stop that. Myself, I have problems. And I would say much of the time, I learn to deal with my problems in the proper way. Like when I am angry, um, I may keep to myself until I calm down. Or if I'm already angry and if someone is messing with me, you know, um, sometimes I may bow, bow down my head. Some people may see that as like, you know, a sign of me being weak. No. Much of the time, if someone is really getting on my nerves, I may bow down my head to not get further irritated. Not that I am afraid of that person, no. In cases as those, sometimes I may, you know, like look down, not really look them in the face because some people is ignorant, I would say. And they may try to fuss at you or whatever for whatever strange, for whatever. So to keep me from being enraged more or angry more or whatever, I look down so I don't have to look at their facial expressions and all that stuff there. And some people may say that, oh, you know, you are just being weak and think what you want. I want to I want to keep the peace and sometimes I take being wronged but not say anything to keep the peace. There is a person that I am around and in order to keep the peace 
I try to stay away from that person as much as possible. As much as possible. As much as possible. And with that person, you don't really know what type of mood that person is going to be in. Like, you don't know when that person is going to be okay. You don't know if that person is going to be like this. Start blaming me for stuff that <laughs> I should not be blamed for. So, I try to stay away from that person as much as possible. To try to keep the peace. Sometimes, I do stuff that may amaze you to keep the peace and that is how we should be as well start doing things to keep the peace we may be entitled to do this or to do that but just because you are entitled to do it that may not be the best course of action if it is going to make you bump heads with a person, maybe for a while or whatever, maybe you should do something else. Maybe you should take the disadvantage just to keep the peace. Right? Would you rather take the disadvantage but have peace? or take what is entitled to you and be in somewhat misery think about that just because i can do something don't mean i should do it just because something is not wrong doesn't mean i should do it i hope this makes sense keep the peace so let me stop here. God bless you.